Okay guys, welcome to workshop and help uh, section, uh, another video to be put in. And this one is about actually putting items that you use all the time into a light box. So basically forming a library. Now if you look under light box, you've already got some tools in here. Now you've also got different brushes as well. And I might like to point out also that some of these brushes are not in this brush tablet so it's worth having a look around some of these you've obviously got textures in here and alphas and materials um, you can see we've already got the clay material in there but I'm going to show you now how to put a tool in here now a tool that we're using very often is this um, diamond tool so let me just um, flick it up for you I'll just load it in um, I think we've got it on our desktop in one of these I think it's uh, section 10 and we've got this stone template here and if I open that up and drag it in you can see there it is and it's got all these different stones and it's a really handy thing to have to be able to open up and it would be handy if it was in the light box so that's what we're going to do so what I need to do is close the brush down and put it in there basically but we're going to do something a little bit different I'm going to create a shortcut so this means that you can put a bunch of tools in a folder somewhere and then you can just basically put a shortcut into the source folder in ZBrush and then when you open ZBrush up it'll appear in here in the tools and then you can just pick it and it's referencing from another location so it's really handy you can do this same um, the same thing I'm telling you about the tools can be used for any of the other folders as well so this is for all of them really and including the brushes and materials and alphas and all the rest of them so let me close the brush down notice in here we haven't got it at the moment we haven't got jewelry in there at the moment so I'm just going to go no I'm not going to save it and I've got open already the location of my ZBrush folder okay so let me go into here this is the root of my ZBrush okay so let us go and straight away go into tools now if i click tools you're going to see in here human image and these were the folders that were in the light box inside zbrush we looked at a minute ago so what i need to do is basically put my stone file somewhere in a folder so i've created a folder in my documents and then it's in a subfolder called zbrush assets in there you can see I've got materials where I've got that brown clay I've also got jewelry tools and if I open that you've got that stone template right so this is in a different location look here to this so to put my jewelry tools in here I could just drag it straight across and then it would be copied into this folder but if I added something to this folder it wouldn't appear in here so the best thing to do is create a shortcut so if I hold using a PC if I hold and drag this across and I press alt and hold alt it will create a link to this folder so let me just drop it in here and let go and I'll just rename it you can rename it at this stage and then I release now if I open ZBrush up it doesn't if if I delete this folder out of this location nothing's going to appear in here but if I add more tools in here they will automatically appear in here because these are shortcuts now okay so let me close these down let's open ZBrush up and here we have ZBrush open so straight away the light box is opened up so if I open light box go to tools in here now I have a folder called jewelry tools so if I double click this there's only one tool in there if I then double click that close light box and drag there we go so I've created a library in my documents and I've I've created that folder and then I've created a link to the ZBrush light box tools folder and now it's available so that means if I add anything new into my documents jewelry tools folder it will automatically appear when I next open ZBrush in this folder that we've created this jewelry folder 
okay so this same principle applies for anything else so you can do the same with alphas you can do the same with textures um, you can use it for a ton of different things so using those same principles you need to put it in the correct folder so if it's uh, a texture you need to put it in the texture folder in the zbrush um, or copy the link across and you can do the same with alpha and everything else so a little tip there on how to make things more accessible to you and to also create your library for constantly used things inside of zbrush this free lecture is brought to you by mojo mojo design and is a lecture from my jewelry design in zbrush 2019 next generation techniques course to be found in the, on the link below so if you want to check this course out you can visit uh, my site at courses.mojomojodesign and there you'll find full information about this very very in-depth course these are the sections and the lectures of this course it's absolutely huge and I'm adding to it all the time.